Seth Lancaster with Anchor Motorworks here, and I'm going to show you today how to replace the slip rings on a Bosch alternator used in a lot of Volkswagens or Audis or BMW and all that kind of stuff. Here we go. Okay, since I don't have a helper, here's what I got. This is a power steering pump pulley remover. Uh, I got it from O'Reilly's. I remade a little... Uh, and there for it. First of all, we're gonna pull off this bearing. Now, right down here, I'm gonna turn this so you can maybe see a little bit better. There are two wires that are going to the slip ring. I take a little screwdriver and just carefully pop that loose. It's very easy to accidentally break this, so you gotta be careful. There's that side. Now, I use a big pair of pliers with good grip and just grab onto the slip ring with this thing clamped down and then twist. There's that. Now we've got this lower part here. And what I do is I take a screwdriver and hammer and just break that apart. Be careful not to break those wires. Because if you break the wires, you get pain. So right here. There we go. You know, all pieces of broken plastic. From there, we've got that all cleaned up. And we're ready to put the new one on. Okay, now we've got the new slip ring. And if you look, there's a little nub thing that sticks out here. And on here, we've got a corresponding spot right there. So you need to make sure that when you install it, it's gonna go and line up with that. Here we go. Carefully, carefully tap that down. You're gonna wanna once it gets down a little bit, you need to make sure that these wires aren't getting pinched underneath. Instead, they've got to make sure to go up into those little grooves. Down up against on the bottom. Then, you're just going to take a screwdriver or pliers and push them up against the little tabs there. Let me get that where you can see it. Just push these wires up against there on both sides. Then we take it over to the soldering station. Okay, here we go. Solder. Now you can see it's nice and soldered right there and right there. And we're ready for the next. Next step is here on the lathe. We're going to clean up these slip rings, make it all nice and smooth. Here we go. And now it's time for insulating varnish. So basically, what this does is it seals this whole thing up and makes it where it'll uh, withstand salt and oil and all that stuff. 